everyone this is Yakalina here in this video we are going to solve the given differential equation which is non-exact of course it is an m dx plus n dy equals to zero form and it's not homogeneous and also it is not in y into some function of x y into dx plus x into some function of x y into dy equals to zero form right so let's get going problem solve 3xy minus 2ay square into dx plus x square minus 2axy into dy equals to 0. Given differential equation, three x y minus two a y square into dx plus x square minus 2axy into dy equals to 0. Consider the given differential equation as equation 1. Which is in mdx plus n dy equals to 0 form. where m equals to by comparing these two will get m equals to quotient of dx is your m 3xy minus 2ay square and n equals to quotient of dy is your m x square minus 2axy if the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equals to partial derivative of n with respect to x then we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation so let's find the differential sorry the partial derivatives of m with respect to y and n with respect to x this is your m and this is your n Partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to dou by dou y of for m equals to 3xy minus 2ay square. Here we are doing partial derivative with respect to y. So x will be treated as constant. This is equal to partial derivative of first term with respect to y minus partial derivative of second term with respect to y. Here 3x are constants and here 2a are constants. This equals to constant into partial derivative of y with respect to y minus constant 2a into partial derivative of y squared with respect to y. This equals to 3x into partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 minus 2a into Partial derivative of y squared with respect to y is 2y equals to 3x minus 2 2 is a 4 into a y. Therefore, partial derivative of m with respect to y is 3x minus 4a y. Now, let's find the partial derivative of n. With respect to x. Do n by do x equals to do y do x of for n equals to x square minus 2a x y. Here we are doing partial derivative with respect to x. So y will be treated as constant. This equals to partial derivative of first term with respect to x minus partial derivative of second term with respect to x is equals to partial derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x minus here 2 a y are constants so you can write this as constant into partial derivative of x with respect to x is equals to 2x minus 2 a y into partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1 which is equals to 2x minus 2ay. Therefore, 
the partial derivative of n with respect to x is equal to 2x minus 2ay. Okay. So it's clear that the partial derivative of m with respect to y is not equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. Therefore, dou n by dou y is not equal to dou n by dou x. From this we can say that the given differential equation that is 1 is non-exact. Okay. Since the given equation is not in homogeneous form and also it is not in y into some function of x, y into dx plus x into some function of x, y into dy equals to 0 form, right? So what we'll do is, we'll try 1 by n times dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x this is equals to 1 by for n equals to x square minus 2axy into dou m by dou y is 3x minus 4ay minus of dou n by dou x is 2x minus 2ay which is equals to 1 by take x common from these two terms you will get x times x minus 2ay right into 3x minus 4ay minus 2x minus into minus plus 2ay which is equals to 3x minus 2x is x minus 4ay plus 2ay is minus 2ay by x times x minus 2ay. So here x minus 2ay gets cancelled is equal to 1 by x. We don't have any y, right? Since we are having 1 by x which does not involve any y. We can say that it is equal to function of s that is function of x alone. Right? So we got 1 by n times dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x equals to function of x alone. It does not involve any y. So we call it as function of x alone. Therefore, 1 by n times dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x equals to 1 by x which is equal to function of x alone. From this we can say that our integrating factor is e power integral f of x into dx which is equal to e power integral we have f of x equals to 1 by x into dx equals to e power Integral 1 by x into dx is log mod x. Again, you can write this as e power log x, which is equals to x. Right. So, you need to get either function of x alone or a real number. To utilize this formula. Okay. Fine. We got integrating factor so the given equation is reduced to an exact equation by multiplying it with integrating factor x times the given equation 3xy minus 2ay square into dx plus x square minus 2axy into dy equals to 0. Consider it as equation 2. Then 3x into x, 3x square y minus 3xy into x 
is 3x square y minus 2a y square into x is 2a x y square into dx plus x into x square x cube minus 2a x y into x is 2a x into x square y into dy equals to 0. Okay. Which is in m1 dx plus n1 dy equals to 0 form. Where m1 equals to 3x square y minus 2ax y square and n1 equals to x cube minus 2ax square y. If the partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of m1 with respect to x, then we can say that equation 2, that is equation obtained by multiplying integrating factor to the given equation is an exact equation. Okay? Or this one is an exact equation. Right? Now let's find the partial derivatives of m1 with respect to y and n1 with respect to x. Since we are having m1 equals to 3x square y minus 2axy square and n1 equals to x cube minus 2ax square y. Partial derivative of m1 with respect to y equals to partial derivative of 3x square y minus 2axy square. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so here x will be treated as partial. This equals to partial derivative of first term with respect to y minus partial derivative of second term with respect to y. This equals to here three x square are constants and here two a x are constants. This equals to constant into partial derivative of y with respect to y minus constant into partial derivative of y square with respect to y. This equals to three x square into partial derivative of y with respect to y is one minus 2ax into partial derivative of y squared with respect to y is 2y. So is equals to 3x squared minus 2 to the 4 axy. Therefore, partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is 3x squared minus 4axy. Now let's find the partial derivative of n1 with respect to x. Do n1 by do x equals to do y do x. So for n1, x cube minus 2a x square y. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, so here y will be treated as constant. This equals to partial derivative of first term with respect to x minus partial derivative of second term with respect to x is equals to partial derivative of x cube with respect to x is 3x square minus here 2 a y are constant so you can write this as constant into partial derivative of x square with respect to x is equals to 3x square minus 2 a y into partial derivative of x square with respect to x is 2 x so is equals to 3x square minus 2 to the 4 axy. Therefore, partial derivative of n1 with respect to x equals to 3x square minus 4axy. So from this we can say that the partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n1 with respect to x.
therefore partial derivative of m1 with respect to y equals to partial derivative of m1 with respect to x equals to 3 x square minus 4 a x y from this we can say that equation 2 that is the reduced equation the equation obtained by multiplying the given equation with the integrating factor is exact right now we need to find the general solution of equation 1 it is the general solution of equation 2 we know that the general solution of exact equation which is in m1 dx plus n1 dy equals to 0 is given by integral over x m1 dx plus integral of terms of n1 free from x into dy equals to c c not 0 so consider the first integral, integral over x and 1 into dx, here we will be integrating m1 with respect to x, treating y as constant. Is equals to integral of for m1, 3x square y minus 2a x y square into dx we can write this as integral first first term to dx minus integral second term 2a x y square into dx now let's write the constants outside the integral in the first integral 3 and y are constants and in the second integral 2a y square are constants so you can write this as constant into integral x square dx minus constant 2ay square into integral x dx this is equals to 3ay into integral x square dx is x cube by 3 minus 2ay square into integral x dx is x square by 2 here 3 gets cancelled and 2 gets cancelled this is equals to x cube by minus a x square y square. Therefore, integral over m1 into dx is integral over x m1 dx is equal to x cube y minus a x square y square. Now let's consider the second integral that is integral of terms of n1 free from x into dy this is your n1 right we don't have such term which is free from x so the terms of n1 free from x is 0 into dy which is equal to 0 now coming to the general solution of equation 1 the general solution of 1 is the general solution of that is the e the result obtained from the first integral x cube y minus a x square y square plus the result obtained from the second integral is zero equals to constant c x cube y minus a x square y square equals to c this completes the problem fine so we have seen a problem from a non-exact equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.